Welcome to SPSS video tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking about chi square test. Uh, before going to the uh, SPSS uh, window here and then playing with the data, I would like to talk a little bit about the uh, chi square. And in a chi square, I will be using uh, an example. This example: Do male and female differ on whether they have a high or low math grade? Here, I have uh, taken variable male and females versus uh, high or low math grade so I will be measuring between these two variables versus other two variables and then I want to also know the relationship um, between the gender and then grade math grade is that a strong relationship or a weak relationship why are we why are we using chi-square the reason to use chi-square test is that this is the one used for the relation to measure the relationship between two categorical data categorical meaning here male and female these are the category like we made uh, we uh, code them as a dummy codes like a zero and one or one or two so in a chi-square we also need to know other couple of things uh, for example chi-square requires a large sample size to make a valid interpretation and then here the expected counts there are observed and expected counts and expected counts uh, in 80 percent of the cells should be greater than five i'll show you this thing uh, in a minute in our spss window and if you have a small size sample size we will be using Fisher's exact test and for the variables the categorical variables which are in 2 by 2 cross tabulation for example uh, uh, this table and it is also called the contingency table uh, for example in category 1 we have two data like the 1a is a male B as a female category 2 would be the math grade like high grade and then low grade so high grade low grade male female these are the four categories and here we call 2 by 2 cross tabulation I will show you that in example and then also we have a Kramers B if one variable has two category but other has more than two uh, categories then in that case we use Kramers B for example uh, let's take this example gender male female 2 religion I put 3 for the for this example Hindu Buddhist Islam so this 3 per, uh, by 2 kind of uh, variable we use Kramers B so so far we have a chi-square in chi-square we have a physics exact test phi uh, and Kramers B now let's go back to the windows uh, SPSS window in the SPSS window I have opened the data here uh, we have a two uh, windows data view we have a data here and total will be uh, 75 sample size 75 students have participated in this study in this uh, sample size and then in the variables you will see name of the variables let me make it bigger gender and then math grade in the gender like I coded them is a zero male one female so in the grade like in the math grade I level age any grade any student having grade less than a grade or B grade they will be coded as zero and then student with the A or B coded as one so we have two by two this is one two and then male one two so uh, we have those uh, thing uh, here and then now we are since we are using um, the chi-square for that one what we do is uh, just go to the analyze after that go to descriptive statistics and after descriptive you uh, you have to go the other side here on the cross cross tab cross tab here and click on that when you click this one you will have a statistics cell and then format so we, we need to know that we have a two variables so far so this one gender goes to row and then math will go to in the column now the main important thing is here on the statistics since we are doing its chi-square we check it chi-square and then we talk about the pi or the Kramer p and then so let's check this one as well and then we are not using any other of them for this uh, video tutorial and the eta this is also used to measure like the strength of this thing so we can check this one but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not using so click on continue under the cell I mentioned earlier 
um, let's go back there to make sure that we understand it's still Kramers B uh, in the chi squad it says like the sa the large sample size requires uh, sample size expected counts is 80% of the cells should be greater than 5 uh, what does that mean here um, in the video like uh, exp so check on this both counts are uh, observed in the expected <laughs> We are not doing anything on residuals, any uh, other item. Let's check on. Uh, let let's not do anything for them. Click on continue. Format will not be doing anything for this tutorial. Just click on OK. Now on your spaces output, you'll see um, information such as N95. That means total number of student is nine. Um, so here you will see the male female like the expected count 19.9 14.1 34 this is pretty much important thing um, we need to know because we are reporting this thing in our uh, in our uh, answer while answering these uh, two questions that uh, you came earlier now uh, here 44 34 like the count and expected like 30 44 31 75 so you'll see here count and the expected count in both male female versus uh, other side you'll see the student having less grade or having most a or b grade now the other section the chi square this box is important one and it will be reporting this one so you will see the feces exact test and then a ratio and those things and then here the this side exact two side tails and then p value this thing like degree of freedom one um, this is important and then here under this pi in Kramer's B we have a value but we will not be reporting both of them because based on the large or the small sample size we have a 75 which is still considered large sample size um, we will be writing or reporting only one phi and Kramer's B see if you see the like significant level 0 0.05 and 0 0.056 uh, 6 like if you do the rounding it would be 0 0.05 6 and this one also 6 5.056 will be 0 0.06 so uh, the p value is considered a, as a 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 now if you go back to the my notes uh, you will be s looking here pretty much like we know the Kramer's B for the two or more so we are not reporting for the Kramer's B because we have a contingency table 2 by 2 so we'll be reporting uh, either features and the phi uh, for the exam now how, how do we report for this answer like we'll be reporting like this uh, when you write the real report a chi-square statistic was conducted to investigate whether males and females differ and whether they had high or low math grades the results indicated that the male and female were not statistically different on whether they whether or not they ha have high grades so this represent chi square we have a 3.65 degree of freedom 1 and total number of students 75 and then p value was 0 0.056 this means it is not significant so chi square 3.65 let me go back there in the uh, 3.65 you will see that one uh, okay 3.65 like if you look at those thing here 3.65 3.65 uh, am I lost here or what yes uh, okay from this table chi square okay and then let's go back to my notes um, okay this is how we report uh, in the APA format of the reporting the outcome of uh, chi square so we give a title chi square analysis of prevalence of high or low math grade among the male and female students it will be italicized and then we, ma we make a table to present the data so we have 44 students having less than a or b grade 31 uh, having mostly a or b grade and total is 75 so we have a male students 
and then sorry uh, female student and then chi square and p value p value is uh, chi square coming here and then p value also coming from here so we report from here to here to finalize our to answer our two questions so we re we address the first question um, is there any difference significant difference between this thing so what we said here is pretty much there is no significant so the additional information and then other thing i will be presenting in another tutorial thank you thank you for watching this video